Good afternoon. It's great to be here once again. I appreciate your time and tuning in. I want to go over some numbers real quick. I was not able to do a um, a full video over the weekend how I had wanted to do to break down the numbers on a whiteboard. So I apologize. I told people in the last video on uh, Connecticut uh, Senior Citizens uh, Virus that I would, and I did not. So I apologize that I just did not get the time. But I do have some quick little numbers I'll share with you without breaking through this. I always have my notebook. Can you see the notebook? I always go to the Connecticut Department of Health. I go to the numbers, break them down. So I just want to let senior citizens know in Connecticut, you're up to an 88.1 survival rate. So 88.1% of all senior citizens who get COVID survive. Now that's who get. Now what I've said before, 734,000 senior citizens in Connecticut, 0.007, so not even a percent, one percent, has uh, actually died from COVID. And even with that, if you look at cases, what's a five and a half percent? I apologize, I don't have the numbers right here in front of me. It's roughly five and a half percent of senior citizens get COVID. They say, well, not every senior citizen is tested. Well, we have a lot of facilities, a long-term care facilities here in this state. And I'm gonna go over that list at some point uh, with folks too. Uh, in, uh, side note, interestingly enough, I found that there was 21 deaths in a drug rehab program. So that's not part of the uh, population, the mainstream population out and about. So just think about that for a second. But I wanna break down these three categories very quickly. So those of you between the age of 60 and 69, I'm getting closer, not that close, but I'm getting closer. 60 to 69, there was a 96.63% survival rate. So that means 96%, we'll just be conservative, 96% of all senior citizens who get COVID survive. I'm not, I'm not making the lives of people who die less significant. I've said before, why don't we make the lives of people who have survived make their lives significant also? Both, you can have both. Those who died, their lives meant something. And those who survived, their lives mean something. Between the ages of 70 and 79, there was an 89% survival rate. So nearly 90% survived COVID-19 if they got it. Now the big one obviously is... 80 and over. So 72% of all senior citizens over the age of 80, 72% survive. That's that's still good. That's still a very good number. So we're looking at what? 6,361 deaths out of uh, 6,818 were senior citizens. Now, I did not put the long-term numbers for some reason, but the cases have dipped. So that means uh, uh, death, death, death ratio to cases that has gone down, which is a beautiful thing. Um, it spiked slightly, like over like a half a percent, but it went back down. And now the test, 4.3 percent total. That's a beauty. That's much better. So, yeah. So here, here's what I was looking for: 2.86, 2.86 percent of all the cases even led to death. We don't want anyone to die, but that's still a good number. That means 97. What? 97.1. 97 percent. 97.1% survive. I just, it amazes me. I'm just blown away by that. And so this is Monday morning. Now these are stats from all last week. So stat, the statistics will change this evening. I, I'm more than happy to admit that. And as always, I'll have, I'm gonna get those because I do them day by day and I compile them together. So I'll try to get the numbers three times a week, if not almost every day. So we look at the plus numbers, they were, 13 um, new deaths, wow. And then there was 72, so 136 out of 149 new deaths at that point were senior citizens over 60. Does it affect senior citizens? Yes, it does. Where? Well, we already know out of uh, 68,000 deaths, we already know for a fact, I think it's 38 something, so we'll, a bit, again, we'll be conservative, 3,800 of them were in long-term care facilities, or 30, uh, of those deaths, I should say, yeah, 3,800. That's a huge deal. Now, I just recently saw yesterday on the news, I'm going to make this quick, the uh, 
U.S. totals of children are now. Maybe I misread this. I thought it said deaths have gone up. If it said cases, that's expected. I, that doesn't bother me at all. I'm sorry. Cases are gonna go up. It's winter. Remember last winter? Same thing. Everybody gets sick, and then some people turned out had flu and it wasn't COVID. And then it was a false test. Anyways, <clears throat> excuse me. There's a whole history of that. I don't have my water bottle. I don't, I don't, it's over there. Um, but the death rate, I will say, in Connecticut has remained the same. So there has not, there has not been any new deaths between the groupings of 0 to 9, 10 to 19, and 20 to 29. It's, it's been the same. So, and let's hope it stays the same. Will it go go up? It might. It did. I'm not saying nobody's ever going to die again. That's stupid. But understand that we're not given all the numbers, or I should say, they omit the good numbers. They give you all. Look at all. They give you the numbers: deaths, cases, tests. Look at all those numbers. But then they don't tell you, hey, look at the high survival rate you have. Look at that. Oh, look at the, this group. They're, they're not affected. Oh, the, wow, 99.7. Listen, in my age group, it's a 99. I'm, I'm in my 40s. There you go. I admitted it. I'm in 99.72 uh, or something like that percent. As I'm trying to, to guess, what was it again? 99.71. So 99.71. That's how you know I break down the numbers. 99.71 percent survival rate. So I got pretty good odds. I get sniffles and colds quicker than I get COVID, and they say it's the most tra uh, most transmission. Uh, bleh, I can yeah, I can talk. But uh, don't be in fear. And that's what they want. Don't live in fear. Live in hope. Live in love. But what do we got going on? Fear and anger. That is no way to live. All right. Well, thank you for tuning in. Remember, senior citizens, 88.1% of senior citizens in Connecticut survive. And that's awesome. Have a beautiful day. God bless.